Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is my daughter Emily and in today's video we're going to discuss bindings and seam coverings and all sorts of other stuff because I finally got through all of that stuff from Fredericks of Hollywood. Like it has been six months that I have been working on it and I have finally finished all of it. So I just got these up on the website. So Emily, get over there and switch cameras for me and we'll look down at the table. Okay, so you can see that there is a lot of stuff right here. There's not that much because it was, because now it's all packed together. Well, these are all organized now, but I wanted to show you, I have a lot of different things going on in here. So we're gonna start over here on the top left and hopefully you can see it on my screen. So I have these, yeah, okay, try not to interrupt me, okay, sweetie? So I um, have, some current Trico stabilizer. Um, I have some black and white and I've been carrying that for a while. But these ones are also that quarter of an inch, it's actually 5 sixteenths of an inch, this stabilizer that's clear. And you can see it does kind of give a little bit if you yank on it. Um, but what you can use this for is to kind of like um, stabilize the edge of laces like on a top to keep it from stretching out too much. So there are uses for this, and this one I have probably the most colors of this size. So um, all of the colors, so the red, burgundy, coral, all the way through the orchid are all nylon. Um, and then I have two, I have a black and a white that are actually a polyester. So if you have looked at the other fabrics that I have on my website, I have, um, this would be the cup lining. So these would be the, uh, cut from the cup lining and this would be from the poly cut cup lining um, And so as we go here, we actually have I have several different widths But the color selection is a little bit more limited the wider it is So we have the 516 which is great for like the edge of laces then we have This which is three quarters. So the next size is a three quarters and you can see that it does have a little bit of give if you yank on it um, and this is actually really good for seam coverings like on the bra seams. So um, there's a product out there called Seams Great, which you can use also. I and mean, then what it is, it's just, it's really soft on one side, more so than the other. And these are nylon, so it should help with breathability. Um, the only ones that are not the nylon are the, the black and white, which those are polyester. And so the three quarter inch ones, I've got in all of these colors. Then getting a little bit further, we have seven eighths of an inch. So there's obviously a purpose for each one of these trims. Some of them may have actually been binding over the edge of a seam, um, especially for the wider ones that are down here. Um, I think I even had some like bows and spaghetti straps that were actually made from the inch and a half or the, the one inch. Um, so these are the seven eighths of an inch. This is the one inch. And this is one and a half. So these ones are pretty, pretty wide. So you could use this to make straps um, or bind hems or bind edges. Um, it's just really versatile. Um, and on this one, the black and the white is actually the nylon, not the polyester. So you can see the difference on. One has lines and the other one. Yeah. So one's a little bit thicker. So the polyester one's thicker and the nylon one is, is a little thinner. bit thinner. Um, but this is the one that's actually, it's soft, it's nylon, it's a breathable, um, and I, and the one and a half inch is in these, um, the black and the white. Actually looking at it, it looks like it might be a hair smaller than an inch and a half, but that's how they were all marked. So lots and lots of Trico bindings. They all have black and white and red. Yep, or they do have pretty much all red. There's a whole lot of red here. And yeah. only one that has burgundy, which is the little um, five eighths there. Yeah. Okay, so other trims that we have. These ones are all spandex bindings. So to give you kind of an idea, all of these bindings were cut from full rolls. So um, they may have actually been rolled up um, uh, cross grain or length grain, depending on kind of what the necessity is or was for this project. Um, so they would roll them up and then they would actually slice the entire roll with a really sharp blade. So um, each 
the way I'm actually selling these are on a roll. So it's actually a roll that was taking off of this roll. Um, the stuff kind of started to fall apart when I took them off of the rolls. So uh, some of these you're gonna end up having to re-roll re, um, onto something that's better, maybe a little piece of cardboard or something else. Especially the smaller ones, those ones collapsed a lot more. Um, they are definitely usable, but they can get tangled. So I basically stuck them in a plastic bag and I am not cutting anything off of them. They are what they are. Now some of the edges, so when you see the roll, and actually here, go get me the bag, the um, plastic bag that's right over there, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, so before I get to the rest, I just wanna explain kind of how they look. So this is kind of how they come. They've been kind of rolled up and they're cut, cut like this. And so some of them might be dirty on like the side um, or on the side here. But because it's only the outside edge, it's really not gonna make a difference for most of these. Um, I did try to remove anything that was like super, super damaged. Um, and I kind of put, I'm giving those to somebody who is uh, buying a whole bunch of stuff for me. So she's getting that as a little bonus next week and she doesn't know it yet. And it has a, car, a cardboard thing around it. Oh yeah, some of them have like a paper, like yeah. a paper piece around them. Um, but this is pretty much how they come. Um, I am not, don't ask me to cut them off and make them smaller. Um, you are buying the whole roll as it is. Um, so that's, I just wanted to show that. So, okay, we've got all of the Trico. Then we have spandex. So we have actually a bunch of spandex binding um, anywhere from, I think the smallest one, this one's three quarters of an inch. And it's kind of like a sparkly, yeah. um, I think it's I call it, they called it ice. It's an ivory sparkle, um, like really extra shiny. I don't know if you can kind of see in the yeah, video. Yeah, also that one too. And then you've got 15 16s, which is just a hair under one inch. And we have that in the light pink, the red, or the burgundy, um, the hunter green, and the um, the orc. Or actually, this is iris, so it's actually it's a slightly different color than the orchid, but yeah. they do work together. It's just I I didn't want to um, call it what because it's not that. Um, and then we have I think an inch and an eighth for the other sizes, and I think there is an iris that's a little bit bigger. I just don't know. I didn't see it here. So um, this one here is dazzle. So this is another piece and Can I try? hold on sweetie. Um, so this is just the dazzle, um, what we use for the cut fabrics. So this can be used, you can create a strap with this. You can use bindings. So you can do a lot of different things with this. And I actually just bought a whole bunch of binding feet. Um, I'm gonna wait for them to get delivered so I can actually make spaghetti straps and, and use these, use the binding feet to kind of bind the edges of swimsuits. <laughs> Because um, I do want to do a little bit of swimwear. Um, it's not non-stretch one way. I know, honey. It's It's got a little bit of stretch. got about a, a 13 to 15% um, stretch on the uh, on the dazzle. This row right here, I have these separated. These ones are all stabilized, meaning that there is a fusible trico that was put to the back. Um, so this is, these are spandexes, so these ones here are spandex, and this one's really pretty. Um, yeah. I saw this and I loved it. I was like, it, if you pull on it hard enough, yes, it'll stretch, but you'll use this for straps or anything that you don't want to stretch. You don't want to put this on yeah. the edge of a underwear or a bathing suit because then it'll kind of restrict. But we have that in this white, um, the ivory um, sparkle, and um, the, uh, I think this one is the mink color. Um, and these are just, these are the, the stabilized spandex. So that's what these are, stabilized spandex. Then we have right here, stabilized, um, honey, please try not to interrupt me. I know, I understand you wanna share something. Um, we have the stabilized um, a dazzle. So this, we also have a mink color, which I actually don't have mink. Actually, is this even stabilized? Can I find out? Can you see, I can't, I don't have my glasses on. I could have sworn that they were stabilized. This one's definitely stabilized. Is that one stabilized? Feel the back. Actually, I don't think that the mink one is stabilized. The mink one actually just may, may be cut. I'm gonna have to go change the description on that. This one no, is definitely stabilized. I, I can stretch it. You can not stretch it? Okay, try. well maybe it is. I'll have to look at it with my glasses. And then we also have the white. So it, it's it possibly is. it is. I just don't have my glasses on. 
there are three pieces here. Now these are actually flocked. So the fabric was like a velvet type fabric. So it's real plush on one side. Um, but this was cut off of a big thing of fabric. So if you do kind of pull at the edges enough, you will get a little bit of fraying going on. So if you're gonna use this, um, just be either check to make sure that the edges aren't gonna fray, or if you're gonna like attach it to something, you can zigzag over the edge. Um, but there's two sizes in the white, um, and then there's a black, only one size in the black. Um, and the black didn't seem to fray at all, so. Now these ones are like, this is a stabilized Trico. There's actually, it's not, nothing's fused to it. This is actually just the fabric. This is like that cup fabric, that, um, that real stiff stuff that I have that washes soft. Um, this is the only one I have that's like that. Um, so there's just two different widths of it and it's in white. And I don't have this fabric actually in white. I have it in a bunch of other colors, but um, so you can use those for bindings, um, straps, you know, a variety of different things. They kind of look different because one is folded up and the other one isn't right there. Yeah, so I know. So it gets confusing. Well, it's the same type of fabric that's over here, honey. Um, it's just this is a thicker woven one, so it actually does not, if you yank it really hard, it will stretch, but it does not have a lot of stretch. These three right here are yeah, a brush. Yeah, could break it. Yep. These three here are brushed trico, so this is also really good for a seam covering. It's just a little bit thicker, so it's br so actually it's brushed on the one side, and um, so it's super soft on one side. Um, but it, this is kind of the equivalent to what I have as my that really soft, the soft trico that's on the website. I didn't yeah. know what to call it, but it's brushed. Um, uh, and then this one seems to be a lot more brush texture than these ones. These ones are just pretty soft. This one has more brushing. Those this ones is, are so soft. Yeah, so these are another spandex. So if you notice on my site, I have the two-way and the one-way. This is the two-way one, and this is the one-way one, because this is the thicker stuff. So this is the thicker spandex. So I just have two, um, the light pink and that white. And I think on the white one, I actually, the outside layer looks off-white. So I think there's white and off-white on it. I listed that in the listing. Uh -huh. Both of these paper? Kind of. So I'm going to get to those in a second. So over here we have just some satin binding. As you can see, the stuff frays like crazy. So there's yeah. a lot of use for it, but just be aware that there will be frayed edges that you're going to have to trim off and you got to deal with so you can't really use the cut edge on anything, unless that's the detail. And so I've got the, the, the blue. I've got black. black. The black is a little bit thinner than the blue. And, also and the then there's a so there's a narrow there's a three quarter inch black one as well that will also fray. Then down here we have actually tool. So this is that bra tool, and this is just an inch and a half. Um, I can see you kind of gathering this up. You can do anything with this stuff, but make it decorative. Um, you can do bows yeah. with it. Um, so we have that, and then we have just the same thing, but in a three inch. Yeah, that's piece. really big. Now there's not a lot of the stuff that's down here because these are more specialty and they were kind of just random. Um, so there's not a lot of them. So they'll, you know, if someone really likes them, they'll go quickly. And I would recommend if you really like it, buy everything you need. These are a non-woven interfacing strip. So it's kind of thicker, like um, that you would use as an embroidery backing. So if you're going to do some decorative stitches on on your garment, you can put this behind it to help keep it stabilized. Um, I mean, there's a number of different reasons to use a, uh, you know, a non, uh, a non-woven interfacing. Um, there's no fusing on it. It is just what it is. It's like a paper. Um, if you pull on it hard enough, it will kind of rip. Right. So feel free to play around with that. Um, there's, I think, three different sizes in the black and, and two different sizes in the white. And then there's also this stuff, which is also another non-woven kind of interfacing type edging. And um, this also can pull. You might even be able to use, and I don't want to, I don't want to um, guarantee this. You would have to play around with it. You you might be able to use this as a tear away yeah. because it does kind of come apart pretty easily. So if you really need to stabilize something and you want to rip it off, um, but do know that that's. I don't think that that's the true purpose of it, but it may work in that aspect. So for this one, and I'm going to show. 
it came on huge rolls and this is actually a smaller roll and um, as you can see this one probably has over 100 yards on it the rolls that I am, I have listed, um, I have listed as like they have 100 yards, but they're honestly probably close to 200 yards on it, just compared to some of the other items I have. Like this is 50 yards, and this is thicker than this. So you probably have even maybe 150 on this thing. So there's gonna be a lot of this stuff on there. Um, so I do have a lot of this available. So it could be really good to help, especially if you have trouble getting your stitch started on your machine. You can feed this through the machine to kind of keep it from eating your fabric. So this can work not just for lingerie, but really any project. That's okay, cool. and then let me see what else I had in here. This is actually, I decided not to photograph this, not to sell this because I don't know what to do with it. Um, if somebody wants this, I've got, I think two rolls. Um, I'm happy to sell these for what five bucks each. I don't know how I'd ever use them. They, it is cut interfacing. It's a woven interfacing, so it frays on the edge. Um, yeah. It's brushed on the back. Um, I'm sure there is a good use for it. You can probably use it to help stiffen, stiffen up hems, but I don't have this one listed because I only have two rolls of it. Yeah. That's so these are the enough. two rolls. So if somebody wants them, five bucks each. Um, other than that, it's just gonna go with my sewing stash that I have no idea what I'm gonna do with. <laughs> okay, last but not least. Vertical underwire that goes between. It's not a vertical. This oh, is yeah, a I separator. See. Now, um, separator wires are getting a little bit of love these days. Um, you know. Uh, it holds up the room. It does not. It actually allows you to have a deep V in between the breasts. So you can actually have a wire that comes up. So let's say you want to have a deep plunge. You can have a wire sit kind of like this. So then you can have the plunge. It's more ideal that you have it as like a demi. So like pretend this top, the front part is not there. And you line that up to kind of like where the edge of this is. So you can have a neckline that goes really deep. So it's really kind of cool. Now um, in the, the bra sewing bee, which is coming up in August, um, I do believe that um, Bodil is gonna be doing a video and um, she's gonna be doing a class on using these. So I'm kind of excited to see what she does because I honestly have never used them before. I've been wanting to play with them. And just as a teaser, um, Madeline of Madeline Intimates has a new design that she is working on that uses these. So it can be really exciting to kind of see some of the new stuff that's gonna be happening with these. Okay, Emily, why don't you go over and switch the camera back up to me, or actually, yeah, switch it back up to me. Thank you, sweetheart. So I hope you found this little introduction useful and helpful for understanding what these bindings are used for. Um, there really are no rules. Um, you can use any of these for anything that you find useful. Um, they do come in rolls anywhere from 15 yards to 200 yards. So just kind of um, pay attention to what you're gonna need. But if you're gonna be working on, um, you know, a bra, I mean, you never know. It's like a single bra has a whole lot of seams on it. So if you wanna cover a yeah. seam, you're gonna end up using about 10 yards possibly on one bra, even though it's super, super tiny. Um, trying to see, is there anything else here on the table that we want to talk about? Oh, wait, right over here. So this is a total oh, teaser, yeah. and this is something I've been working on. Um, this is one of my samples. This is not the final version. Um, this is like a shapewear swimsuit. I'm actually gonna be making this, this is gonna be a swimsuit. Um, I've changed how I'm going to do the armholes, so I'm working with a new illustrator who's helped me with the instructions um, because I'll be starting to test this as soon as her instructions are complete. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Um, this, because it is, it can be shapewear, I want to show you the insides, it, it's underwired. Um, so the inside, I did the second layer in black. So not all the layers are doubled, but what I did is I ended up doing a solid, the, the center piece and every other panel is doubled. And it allows me to actually have completely clean finishes on the inside so there's no rubbing against the skin. I actually, um, on the bathing suit um, that I made with the tankini last year, I put it on first time and I'm sure it's just because I didn't wash it, it had chlorine on it. Um, but I put it on and 
everywhere where there was a seam, I just started breaking out in hives and I was just itching. So I decided I wanna do something completely clean finished. Of course, if you make one of your own, you don't have to clean finish it. It is completely up to you, but the instructions are on how to clean finish it. So that's kind of one of the other exciting things I'm finishing up with. And I've got more patterns that'll be coming soon. Um, like the other Emily than that, Brief? Yep, the Emily Brief and the Emily Tank, which will both be here soon. I have actually been, I did a sample of the Emily Tank for adults. I've already, this is actually the Emily Tank for kids. This was <laughs> one of the samples. So this was not, I think we modified the pattern slightly. So this is, um, but this is the kids, the kids tank. Um, and it really fits her nice. And it's so hard because she's, she's got basically this, the, she's the height of like a 10 or a 12 year old, but she's only eight. And so she's slowly growing out of even the extra larges at Target. And plus I'm so sick and tired of it. This shirt, I think I got at Target back like in February and all of the elastic threads are breaking right here. I don't know if you can see. I could see it in the mirror this morning. I can see it when I look down. Yeah, I so I'm really getting frustrated with how the fabrics that they're using these days. So you'll be seeing a lot more clothes from me being made with quality fabrics. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and- uh, Bye. Yeah, see you next time.